In December 2022, the ship partially sunk due to structural failure. Now, nine months on, the ship is back afloat, so I've returned to come and see what the lower deck looks like. As I made my way down the stairs, I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to be able to walk on the actual lower deck, as it had been submerged for months and I assumed the floor would have been rotten. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm going to hold on to something solid the whole way because I feel like I could possibly fall through this floor at any point. What? Wow, here we are. Let's see if we can get to the bar that I tried to get to originally. Yeah, that's the sort of damage we're dealing with. That huge holes in the ground. So you imagine anything wooden has just been sat underwater for months. So it's gonna be so rotten, which you can sort of tell from the front of that bar try not to put too much weight all in one spot but saying that this part of the floor feels all right at the moment so it may be floating again but i think we're a long way off before it's uh, up and running again because all of this has to be stripped out i'm sure there's tons of work that needs to be done here before, before this is actually up and running. But we've made it, look, we're at the bar. We're at the, finally at the bar that I was trying to, whoops, sorry, that I was trying to get to on the original video. And sure enough, look at all the alcohol left behind. Wow. We'll go back upstairs in a minute and see if all the alcohol is still there that was in good condition in the original fridges. Mmm, creepy. This looks creepy, doesn't it? Whoa. This is so dodgy. The floor is unbelievably spongy. Yeah, and it's getting worse as we go back. Whoa. Here we go. So we're seeing more stuff here got the um the room where you can see all the pumps would have been set up for all the drinks the co2 tanks and everything like that would have been back here got a keg this little generator what's going on out back i've got to be quiet because i'm not sure who's around but they're the paddles on the back of the paddle steamer. No idea what this contraption is, but that looks pretty hefty, but that goes outside with all these hoses. Wow, look at that with a mirror on the wall, but the wall is just blown out there. I wonder if that was where, um, where there was water behind that wall and where they were raising it it had to escape somewhere and it's just blown out of that panel possibly because you can see all of those have been pushed forward wow i don't really want to go through there because it absolutely stinks and i can barely breathe but i'll give you a peek it actually smells a bit like sewage as well so I think the um, something to do with the toilets back here. That's definitely seen better days there, hasn't it? That is nasty looking. Wow, this carpet's even more grim than a Weatherspoon's carpet now. Look at that, it's just thick mould. Right, I think we'll head back upstairs and just see what's changed up there now. I really hope you've enjoyed these videos because uh, this has been a really unique one. I've never been able to come back to a place a few times and it's been so different every time. Oh, don't like that. It's 
is horrible because down here you have to step. You have to do like a half step before you can fully commit to a step <laughs> because it feels like, because the floor gives way slightly where it's spongy. But, um, but I don't know, it seemed all right considering it was submerged for months. I've definitely been on worse floors than that. Let's go back up and see what's behind the original bar now. Right, so the tables and chairs. Um, this is all very different. There's no Christmas tree. Where's the Christmas tree gone? How dare they steal Christmas from us? So this is all very different. So all the tables and chairs aren't really uh, set out as they were originally. This ends similar, but yes, yeah, everything's disturbed now. On the original one, that was such a shock coming into it all set out as if uh, as if it was ready for customers to arrive. The bar area seems really tidy. Empty. I think the other fridge round here had loads in. No. The fridges have been removed. The fridges were there. someone's outside it sounded like someone was outside but I'm not entirely sure if it was the water moving and just birds making sounds but yeah either way all the fridges have been moved out that were there so that's very different so this area has really been cleared out because this had all the original stuff in place. Even the taps on the bar have been taken out. That's interesting. Safety first and all that. Okay, so there are still remnants of, uh, of Christmas here. So this is all the equipment that they've taken out of the um, out from behind the bar, by the looks of things. Yeah, and the kitchen. So they've moved all the heavy stuff down here. Wonder what the reasoning was behind that. My only thought is that it's an attempt to try and even out the weight across the whole ship, as this may have made it easier for them to raise the ship back off of the bottom of the lake. Though this is just speculation, and I really don't have a clue. Oh, what a beautiful sunrise. Wow. Oh, fuck. I don't know if you remember last time, but this one was actually locked. Or well, the door was sealed and I couldn't open it. Looks like a load of documents that nobody's probably meant to get their hands on, but there we go. Wow, what a beautiful morning. Look at that, stunning. Right, so that concludes the, uh, the third episode to this then. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun for me exploring it anyway. But, um, but that's it, I had to come back when I heard that it had been raised back up. I knew I had to come back and see what that bottom deck looked like. But that is it. I don't really see that there's any reason to come back now. I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you haven't seen the previous ones, I recommend that you go and watch those now, um, just so you've got a bit of context. If you want more, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.